So today I'll be changing the art in my hitbox and I just wanted to share the process with you because you know, learning together is fun. So first things first is the list of things you'll need. Obviously the hitbox, the art piece, the replacement plexi cover and a screwdriver. Now there's a few optional things which I'm using but you don't need them at all. It's masking tape, a pen, replacement pins and snap-in button removers. Now I'll leave a link to where I got all of these things down below. Especially check out the artist I got the art commission from, he does some amazing work. Okay, step one, we need to remove the back plate and not lose the six screws because they are quite small. Now that we've done that, next is to disconnect the wires from all the buttons, at least those connected to the front plate. If you've never done this before, it's quite simple. Just grab the wire with your hands and wiggle it out. If it's a bit stiff, you can use a pair of pliers and gently do the same thing. Now one little hack I like to do every time I disconnect the button is wrap the wires in masking tape and label it because this makes the reassembly much easier later on. Wires are off. Next thing on the list of things to do is to remove the buttons. So hitboxes use snap-in Sama buttons, which means to remove them, all we've got to do is push the tabs on either side of the button, then the button should come right out. I say should be, but sometimes they can be a bit stiff or hard to reach the tabs with how close they are to the other buttons. But that's where the button remover really shines in this case. Just slide it over and then use the other piece to pop the button out. Okay, moving on to the next step. Removing the stock plate. This is probably the second easiest step after unscrewing the back plate. Just use the screwdriver to pop these pins out from the inside and then just pull them out. Once the plate's off, just leave it out of the way because we don't need it anymore. Okay, now we just have to place the art. First though, the satisfying feeling of pushing out the button cutouts. Make sure you keep the cutouts though, as some button designs actually allow you to place them inside, which is kind of neat. So now all we've got to do is got to place the art on top of the case. Make sure the pinholes line up and the buttonholes line up and make sure there's no hairs or anything. And then do the same with the plexi cover, placing it on top of the art piece. Now that we've done that, all we have to do is push the pins in and then redo everything we've just done, but in reverse. So that means pushing the buttons back in and rewiring them all. Now wait, stop before you put the back plate on, just make sure you test it. It's always a good idea to test it to ensure the buttons are correctly wired and functioning. Saves taking the plate off again if there's an issue. And with the back plate on, we are done. As you can tell, it's not overly difficult to replace an art on a hitbox or any fight stick for that matter as they all follow quite similar process. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.